Hey guys, Miss Britt here. Today we are going to be making some no sew aprons out of old t-shirts and dress shirts. I will show you how to make both. That way you always have an apron to wear whether it be cooking with mom and dad or doing messy crafts. You always have an apron to wear to protect your clothes. So here we go, let's jump right in. So I, you don't necessarily have to have anything hard underneath it like this cardboard. I just have it on there um, to have my t-shirt on top of. That way when I'm trying to cut and stuff the t-shirt doesn't get wrinkly because of the carpet. So that is your choice completely, you don't need that. So let's get started. First, we are going to be removing the sleeves. So you're gonna to wanna to start right here at the armpit. Put your ruler right there just so that you can make a straight line. You can of course do this by eyeball too if you don't wanna use a ruler. So we're gonna go from our armpit right up here to the start of this collar, right at the point. I am going to use a fabric marker just so that my line is straight, but you don't have to worry about it because the marker is going to be on the part of the cloth that we cut out, so that won't actually be on the shirt. Do the same thing on the other side. from the armpit of the shirt right up to the collar. Okay, so let's get those cut off of there. And if you are using sharp scissors, make sure mom or dad or someone there is to help you. right along the line. Same on the other side. Next, what we are going to do is, if you have any little jagged edges after you cut that, you can go back and cut them off, but that's not gonna matter because that part will be cut off too. So then we flip it over. So that you're working from the back of the shirt now. You're going to go from the armpit to the other armpit straight across. Made my line a little crooked, but that's okay because that part's getting cut off. And then you are actually going to make another line right on the other side of it. I am using a two and a half inch um, spacer between. I recommend two and a half inch to a three inch space that you are going to block off. Here, we are going to start 
right here, the top. Make sure you guys can all see what I'm doing. We're gonna start right here at the top of the shirt. And we are just going to cut around the collar of the shirt. Getting right up as close as you can. So this is what you have. And then you can take and clean up your points. And from here, you are going to cut across just the back part of the shirt. Make sure you don't cut through both sides of the shirt while doing this step. And you're gonna cut straight across. From armpit to armpit or on your line, however you made your line. so it's now facing us this way and you're gonna cut right up the seam of the shirt where the fold would be separating the back of the shirt from the front of the shirt like that make sure to stop right at where you made your line I'm gonna do the same thing on this side a little bit closer to you just so that you have it so you know that you're staying straight on your line and now you're going to cut straight across to get rid of this bottom piece Again, making sure that you're only cutting the back of the shirt on this step. And so now you're left with this. So what you do from here Make sure to stay right on your fold where the shirt folds. You are going to cut this, but only about halfway down. So still leave it like half connected right here. And then you are going to cut all the way over right down the middle of the strip
now when you get to this side you are going to cut this strip down so it'll be not connected on this side but connected on the other side making it so you have two straps Now, this is what the front of your apron should look like. Just like that. So you have two straps that tie around you. This goes around your neck, and then the front of you is all protected. From here, you can decorate it however you want to. You can leave it plain, just like your regular shirt or you can take some, these are fabric markers made by Tulip that I use. You can just make, you know, different shapes, shade them in, however you wanna do it. If you don't have fabric markers, um, Sharpie permanent markers works just as well. I'm just making little random designs, nothing spectacular. So I'm just gonna use this for when we have gluing projects and things. Just something to add a splash of color instead of just plain pink. Put a couple little green dots in here. Another fun thing you can do is if you have stamps, you can dip them in paint and make different stamps on yours, which is a really cool option to do. show you how to do that. Let me open my paint jar. Pour a little bit out on there. And I just have little stamps that I got, I think for just a few dollars at a craft store a while ago that I really I've used them for a few things here and there. They work pretty well. You just dip it in paint like that and then you can just stamp on your shirt. Have a little peace sign. Or I have... Um, The ones that the stamps that I have are just um, letters and then just a couple different little uh, symbols like the peace sign, um, a heart, and it was fairly cheap. And just make sure you don't have too much paint on your stamp that way it doesn't when you stamp your shirt it gives a symbol that you're looking for here's a question mark and 
And then of course you can just, like I said, leave it plain. You can take a Sharpie or a fabric marker, some fabric paint, write your name on it, however you want to do it. This is the t-shirt. So we'll pull that and set that aside. Fold it in half so my paint dries. And then I can show you how to make one out of a button-up dress shirt if you prefer to use a dress shirt rather than a t-shirt and the dress shirt ones are nice because instead of just pulling over your neck like that one does you can unbutton these ones and it's a stiffer fabric so um you can do different things so we can sew sew different fabrics on the bottom of it um, because it's stiffer it holds up a little better than like the cotton t-shirt as far as like adding other things to it now with the dress shirt you're going to start the same way you did the t-shirt and you're gonna go <clears throat> fold up your collar first so that your collar is out of the way and you're gonna go from the armpit right to the very point of that collar. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. Now obviously make sure that you're using old t-shirts or old dress shirts that maybe don't fit you anymore or you have mom and dad's okay to use the shirts before you go cutting, cutting into them. Again, just like with the t-shirt just cut on the outside of that line so that you don't have the line on your apron unless of course you want the line on your apron then you can cut on the other side of it and keep the line there Always make sure before you cut that you don't have wrinkles and stuff in your shirt or that's how you're gonna get like the jagged edges instead of a, a nice straight line and I'm only using my line as a guide because I don't want the marker line on there I'm just using it as a kind of a guide. Okay, now gotta turn it over just like you did with the other one. Now, most dress shirts have this like extra pleat in the back of it. So when you're going from your armpit to your armpit, just make sure that the pleat, the wrinkle from the pleat has kind of moved up the shirt like I just did. Just kind of pull it so that the pleat is up more before you make your line.
just like with the t-shirt cut right up to the collar and around the collar making sure to stay as close to the collar as possible that way you get a nice neat cut The only thing that's better with the t-shirts that's not so great with the um, dress shirt apron is that cotton, once you cut it, it stretches. So um, the straps of the cotton shirt, um, once you have it to go around your waist and stuff, it, it's more than big enough because of the way that it stretches. Whereas like this dress shirt, the feeling is more stiff. So when you cut it, you don't get that like extra, like elasticity, like stretch type that you would with the cotton shirt. So if you're gonna make one out of the dress shirt, you're going to definitely want to make sure that the dress shirt fits you that way you know that it's going to tie around you because once you make your straps like we did on the um, first shirt they aren't going to stretch the way that the cotton shirt did okay get rid of that top and as you can see this is a very old shirt it's got some old stains just from hanging around the house for so long so that's why I chose this shirt. But I've always liked the pattern and the colors. So I saved it. I figured I could find something to do with it. And this was a perfect craft. I didn't get all the way across with my line guide, but it's close enough that I can basically follow the, I get the gist of where the line should be. And again, just cut right up the side until you get to your line right here. And then once again, cut across. These type of shirts are a lot easier to cut though compared to the cotton because when you cut cotton, you're taking the hem out of it so it rolls. The, the fabric itself rolls up when you stretch it. So to where this still lays flat. There's, I don't get the, the roll on the seam. So it's easier to make a straighter cut. gonna go halfway down your strap and then right across now this shirt because it already has a pattern to it I won't do any decoration on it I like the the pattern of it already so I wouldn't put any um, 
like designs or anything on it to where the t-shirt was just plain so but everybody can do however they would like I just like the pattern of this one and then cut down there once again leaving your oops that got cut right there by the button so I'll have a little tiny hole in the front of mine but that's all right because I'm just going to use it for what I'm gluing and painting and then once again just like before you have two straps and then you turn it over to the front you can bend your collar back down I didn't cut all the way down the side on this one. Cut down this side like you did the first side. Cut all the way down it. Just to get rid of that back piece. the apron made out of a dress shirt same way and just put this part unbutton the first button pop it right over your head you can button it back up that way you know you're not none of your parts of your clothes are gonna get dirty and there's your two straps and you are all set now we have aprons to use all for all of them, our crafts and cooking, whatever you want to use your apron for. So there's two different ones, t-shirt and the dress shirt apron. All right guys. Hope you enjoyed your craft for today. You can send some of uh, your pictures of your aprons maybe to our Facebook page so that we can see how your aprons turned out compared to mine. See what designs you did differently than what I did and what type of shirts you used. And thanks for coming. Thanks for joining me. And I will see you guys next Monday, next Monday with a new craft. Maybe we can do something messy and wear our aprons. Have a great week, guys. Stay safe and healthy.